here, and today um, I've been messing around with some uh, Cinema 4D, trying to make some sort of like logo animation thing for uh, Techies Gaming. Um, and this is what I came up with. Um, I know it's not the best looking thing ever, but um, it looks pretty nice, and I uh, thought I'd make a tutorial on how to set this up. Possibly it's a pretty long process, so if I don't go over everything, I'll definitely make another tutorial on it and um, I'll cover whatever else I missed. So um, if uh, if you can see this on your screen you should. Um, it says Techies Gaming so uh, we're going to set that up and uh, let's go. So I'm going to create a new document here and um, the first thing I'm going to do because I'll probably forget if I don't is I'm going to throw on a, a sky and a floor. So they're under these like um, light kind of thing and you can just drag a floor on and you can drag a sky so uh, basically for the sky and floor the floor uh, really doesn't matter actually you could use a floor or background you could go over here to browse which is what I did I went over to this like file in the, with a sphere in the middle and here we go and under cinema 4d Backgrounds, linear gradients, I chose background number one, and basically I just dragged it onto the floor material. So now, um, if we render that out, we just get a floor, which is kind of gradiented, so it looks pretty nice when it renders with uh, global illumination and whatnot. Uh, the next thing we have to do is for our sky. Um, I didn't have this in mind, but you have to use an HDI, HDRI image and uh, basically it's just really reflective and it looks really nice um, and I found this website that you can download them for free at it's like avery's.be slash hdri and um, they give you quite a few I think it's like 10 it is 10 uh, free hdri images that you can choose from so just download one of them and uh, once you have it I I should probably do that. Once you have it, wherever you have it downloaded, um, I have to find mine. Oh, there we go. All you have to do is just drag it on to your sky. And um, there we go. So if you zoom out a lot, you can see the HDRI image has been applied to the sky. And if we render that out, uh, you can't see it. So, okay. But anyways, um, the next thing we have to do is we need to set up our scene. So to set up our scene, uh, this is under the render setting. So if we click the third button under these, like, I um, actually don't know what these are called, but uh, whatever, the third button up here. Uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to go to effect and... Where is it? Global illumination. We need to make sure that's checked under the render settings. And um, I did not change any of these because I don't know what they mean. So I left it alone and uh, came out pretty nice. And the next thing we need to do is go to our options tab and make sure we uncheck the auto light. Because if we have auto light, pretty much everything we've done with the background in the sky has just gone to waste because there's already an auto light. That's what the global illumination kind of like a omni or ambient light um so if we take a look at that it'll render kind of nicer you can't really tell what's going on because there's absolutely nothing there so um let's fix that i'm going to move my camera up just a bit because if you can see this little dashed line this is where the sky starts so if your uh, camera is showing above that that means you're going to see part of the sky like up here and you don't want that so if you just tilt your camera just a bit just till it's right below it and you re-render it you will not see the sky and it will look a lot nicer okay so now on for the text stuff basically we go to MoGraph and text objects so if you don't have MoGraph uh, MoGraph comes with the program when you install it uh, it'll ask you what plugins you want to install with it, MoGraph being one of them, and um, yeah. If you don't have it, then you can go to something, I don't remember, but there's like a text 
um, option under one of these. I don't remember where it is, but you can just do that and extrude the text and you get the same thing. So, um, I'm going to go with, let's go with eat, sleep. And uh, I'm just going to change my text around, probably make it a bit thicker so you can see some real depth with it. And we'll put it in our scene a little higher up. So if we go ahead and render that out, um, what's cool about this is is you can already see the um, global illumination working. I have no texture on the text, but it already looks kind of um, awesome. I don't know what other word to use there. But um, you can see the shadow and you can see the lighting affecting the text. Even though we don't have any uh, material applied, that's kind of what global illumination does. It's kind of like V-Ray if you've ever used 3ds Max, um, but it's kind of like built in, so it's pretty cool about uh, Cinema 4D. I'm actually going to make the depth a tad bigger. Go to 50. Can I change it? Yeah, okay. So let's go around. Okay, cool. So uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to go down here to our uh, materials area, double click anywhere in the area, and it'll make a new material for us. Uh, so for this material, um, basically all we're going to do is make it glossy and reflective so it can reflect some light, make it look really shiny and chromish. So um, uh, I'm going to go with I'll go with green, I guess. Green, no, that's too bright. That's cool. Um, so what we want to do is we want to make sure that our... We want to make sure Sorry for the color, we go to, forgot what I was going to um, say, Fresno. but um, for basically for this, it's really simple. Um, I'm sh you can definitely go more in depth on how much you want to edit your material for the text, but for this, I'm just going to um, keep it simple, make a reflective material, and just apply it and see how that looks. So, uh, under the colors, you can go with a single color, or you could go with a gradient. Um, I guess I'll go with a single color, and I'll make it, like I said, I'll make it greenish. So, like that. And um, the next thing we have to do is, actually, the only thing is just check reflection. So, make sure your reflection is on, and um, based on how much you want it to reflect, it's say about 17. Um, I just made that up, it's just whatever you want. <laughs> and uh, specular, you probably have that checked by default. And um, what I do is I have everything maxed except fall off. The fall off we want kind of low. So the width and the height, which means the um, how glossy it is, is like everywhere. So that's, that's what we want. So um, And we don't want the fall off to be maxed because then it's just a white spot. And uh, that's not looking too good so um, I guess in the negatives is probably best let's go like negative third negative 40 and um, that's it for our material for the text so if we just drag that over to the text object like that and I'll get rid of that one and if we render this out uh, that doesn't look good uh, if we move our camera first right there see how that looks render this out okay so it doesn't look exactly the same but now we can see the um, the text is reflective uh, inside the S we can see where the reflection really really shines with the uh, global illumination reflecting off of it and um, it looks really good again uh, very simple on the text but the setup is probably most important for the, to get from this tutorial just um, set your scene up and you should get a great looking text or objects or whatever kind of abstract art you make so um yeah that's pretty much it if i went too fast which i probably did uh feel free to just you know rewind and stop and uh, if you have any questions post below and uh, yeah thanks for watching this has been eat sleep from the techies be sure to check out the techies website for great game and software reviews as well as a database of all techies videos. Also, 
please sign up to our forum where you can request a tutorial or just talk about something that you